Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we are changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we are bound to make the world an even better place. In this video, I am going to be showing you multiple uses of blockchain above and beyond Bitcoin. Stay tuned. I'd like to begin this journey by taking you to the Daily Blockchain Informer, which you can find at news.blockchaininformer.com. This is a free publication published by the Blockchain Institute of Technology, which on a daily basis curates all the top stories in Bitcoin, blockchain, and cryptocurrency. If you notice, today's issue actually has the lead story as EU politicians are pushing Parliament to test blockchain identity for refugees. So this is a use of blockchain above and beyond Bitcoin, which is actually used to help refugees. This is just one use. Here is another use reported on Bits Online where it stated that major banks have been testing using blockchain to handle their retail lease guarantees. They're doing this to increase transparency and to reduce risk, error, and fraud, and just completely automate the entire process on a distributed ledger. Following that, we're going into another story that was done on Blockchain Informer, where we're talking about supply chain management. And one of the, the angles that we took is the fact that Walmart has led the way by tracking the flow of pork products across China. That is, all of their pork products are going to be tracked on a blockchain to assure their safety. And the initial tests have been very successful, reducing the amount of time it takes to actually check the quality of pork products from what used to take weeks and wrought with errors to a matter of only minutes. Now, one key link that I want to take you to, which will actually put everything into context, is CoinMarketCap.com. CoinMarketCap.com is a very valuable resource, not only because it tracks the market capitalization of cryptocurrencies, but because it presents a single place where you can track, at this moment, 866 different cryptocurrencies. What I mean by that is that you can see Bitcoin but you can also see Ethereum, you can see all the other ones, Ripple, Litecoin, NEM, Dash, IOTA. And one of the beauties of this website is that you can actually click on any of the cryptocurrencies that are there and find out more about their vision. So for example, we know about Ethereum and we know that Ethereum is actually a decentralized platform for running smart contracts. But when you click on Ethereum, you have the option to go to the website and you can find out everything you can from that. That's only one example. Let's go back to the site. Looking through the list of cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap.com puts things into context as to how much innovation is currently being done. Each one of these is actually somebody's vision of trying to disrupt some sort of industry. They're trying to create some sort of different approach of doing something and build it on top of a blockchain. So as you can work your way through these, you can actually stop and double click and find out specifics about each one of these different visions. So for example, let's do that right now and check in on one of the cryptocurrencies found here. In this case, let's go to NEO or NEO. NEO is actually a blockchain based system, very similar to Ethereum. And the vision for NEO is to actually build a smart economy network. What that means is that you're being able to build digital assets and keep the whole thing on top of a public blockchain. This is a very similar approach to what Ethereum has been doing. And if you actually go back to CoinMarketCap, you can actually see the impact of NEO. Because when you look at CoinMarketCap, you not only can see cryptocurrencies, but you can also see digital assets. And when you drill down into digital assets, you can see entire organizations that are being built on top of some of these blockchains. So for instance, right now, what you're seeing is digital assets, and you'll see that some of them are built on Ethereum. Some of them are built on Omni, yet other ones are built on NEO, NEO. Others are built on Next. Some are built on Waves. But you can go even further than that. What you see is that on top of this platform built on Ethereum, you can find Augur. And Augur is a digital token built on Ethereum. If you want to find out more about what Augur is doing, you can double click and find out. And what they are really doing is trying to disrupt the entire business of forecasting. They're trying to create the most accurate forecasting tool by leveraging the blockchain. And you can actually look more in detail exactly how they plan on doing that.
But what is enabling all of this to happen is the blockchain. Because if it wasn't for the blockchain, you would not be able to create the digital token that is Augur. So I encourage you to visit coinmarketcap.com and actually scroll through all the different options. And if you see something that seems interesting to you, double click and find out what the vision is all about. I am not encouraging you or endorsing any of these cryptocurrencies, but I want to put it to you so you can open your eyes and see how much innovation is currently being made possible because of blockchain. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that I'll see you again in future videos. If you haven't already, I invite you to click like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, we are changing the world one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy.